The alpine forests of Australian state of Victoria are no stranger to bushfires that have claimed a huge number of ash trees which are integral to the lush ecosystem there. Conservationists aim to regenerate the ash tree population with the help of tree climbers who have the tall task of scaling these massive trees. Here's a detailed report. Meet Daniel Jenkins, ready for another challenging day at work. Danielle is preparing to scale this 50-meter high tree. Why? To retrieve tiny ash tree seeds. A tall order, to say the least. That being said, Daniel thinks it's the perfect job. It's a wonderful world, especially when it's in the clouds and you can look through. It's almost something out of a fairy tale. And oh, it'd be a, it'd horrible to lose that. In recent years, massive and recurrent bushfires have devastated many ash trees in the vicinity. And to reverse the loss, Jenkins and his crew have spent months climbing these massive trees that can grow to heights between 50 and 100 meters to collect the seeds that are usually found perched at the very top. Ash trees can take up to 20 years to mature fully, to a point where they can produce more seeds. It's a race against time. And so, the crew must get every last seed that they can find, as many of the trees lost in the bushfires were destroyed before they could reach maturity. Where the forests are immature and they can't regenerate themselves, um, if we step in after the fires and do a, um, a, a, an active management, then, um, then we can reduce the loss. Climate change is making its impact felt across the globe. For Jenkins, this perilous undertaking means he is sowing the seeds for a cleaner future. Already we're struggling to keep up. Um, in the 2020 bushfires, for example, we, we, there was 20,000 hectares that required sowing. It was receptive to seed, but we just weren't able to, to sow the entire area. Bureau Report, we on. World is one. We on now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.